In this picture, we see many different network devices, two of which we're going to talk about today, a router and a switch. We're going to look into where we use these in a network and why we use these devices in a network. So previously we talked about the fact that if we took a thousand devices and put them all on the same network, we would have less than optimum communication. Now we're going to talk about why that is. There's two reasons. First, a collision domain is a section of network where data packets can collide with one another when being sent on a shared medium. For instance, if two devices try to send a packet at the same time, they have the chance to collide. This becomes a source of inefficiency in the network. The second issue we have is something called a broadcast domain. A broadcast domain is a logical division of a computer network in which all nodes can reach each other by broadcast. So if this person needs to try to find somebody and sends out a request, every computer along the way, whether it's meant for them or not, has to process it, which once again leads to a source of inefficiency in the network. So let's examine some network devices that can help us create an optimized network. The first device that we want to define is a hub. A hub is a hardware-based layer one device. It is basically a repeater. Devices attach to the hub, and as signals come into the hub, they are repeated back out the other side. It's a dumb device, and it can't learn. It was mainly invented to help us create those star topologies we talked about in a previous lesson. A bridge is where we start to talk about optimizing the network. Bridges are generally software-based layer 2 devices. They help us actually separate or create multiple smaller collision domains, but they still flood broadcasts. So while they create multiple collision domains, they still have one big broadcast domain. So they help us filter some frames, but they usually have a small amount of ports, less than 16 ports. We take a step up from there, we next visit switches. And switches, instead of doing the processing in software, actually process the information in hardware, so they're faster and can handle larger loads. They learn the network as well and actually check the information for errors. And if there are errors, they will stop that bad data from being propagated. Once again, these devices help you create multiple collision domains, and they help you be more efficient with your network, but they still provide you with a single broadcast domain, although they do have many more ports and better scalability than a bridge. A router, on the other hand, can create both separate collision domains and broadcast domains. Routers learn IP addresses. They help us connect different networks and in some cases can actually help us route between different protocols and different media types. So switches and routers are very important pieces of the network. 